I'm joined by Kenny Anuwe, the MD CEO of the FGN Power Company, or Federal Government of Nigeria Power Company, right? Thank you so much for uh, joining us on News Night. Thank you. Well, Appreciate the deal you. was signed as far back as 2019, and one wonders exactly why it's taken uh, this long for it to, uh, you know, take off. Help us understand the scope of this deal and why the choice of Siemens, really? Thank you, Ngozi, for having me, first of all. Yeah. So Siemens obviously is a world-class uh, company that comes with a lot of experience. They have proven the experience in uh, the work that they did with Egypt uh, mm -hmm. by ramping up their capacities by about 14,000 megawatts. So uh, and, and this is just in one particular area in terms of the capacity improvements. But um, Mr. Mr. President Buhari, uh, decided uh, that Siemens was the right partner on this, as you rightly pointed out, far back uh, 2019, uh, because they have the right capacities, they have the right experience, they have the right, you know, um, uh, ability to quickly mobilize to implement the program. Were there bottlenecks? Uh, does that explain why it's taken this long, or what exactly took this long? I think the world itself. Um, you know, came to a very slow uh, motion, or if you like, a standstill 2019, 2020 with the COVID-19. Okay. There were mm -hmm. you, significant challenges in that area. But what government did in response was to put together, uh, uh, if you like, uh, a very clear um, arrangement for uh, governance in the program and set up the uh, special purpose vehicle which is called the FGM Power Company of which I am the MD and uh, a board for the FGM Power Company uh, that is actually um, chaired by the Honorable Minister of Finance. Uh, the Honorable Minister of Power is also a member of the board as well as the Minister of Works and Housing uh, and of course the um, the AGF uh, uh, of of uh, of Nigeria, he's mm. also a part As of the Attorney board, General of the, the Attorney Federation. General okay. and and the BP uh, DG. So this arrangement allows it to have a sustainable basis for progressing in the future. Um, how do you reassure investors? I believe investors will be uh, coming in, or is it just the Nigerian government, Siemens, and we hear also with the uh, German uh, government. Will there be other private investors who will come in and how do you guarantee you know, that enabling environment for them to thrive so that the mistakes with the discos and you know, the other electricity value chain are avoided? So Gozi, the way that this works is that the federal government is actually uh, backstopping the investments by uh, the FGM power company. Now the costs of all of the investments which total up to about 2.3 between 2.3 and 2.6 billion euros will be uh, as i said backstopped by the federal government however the funds will be unlent to the distribution companies and the transmission company which will pay back these funds in due time over a long term okay okay that's great to know but the fundamental question is the how how you uh, uh, hope to achieve this 4000 megawatts where we hovering around to, uh, is it 25,000 yes, so megawatts? How is that going to be achieved and how yeah. soon? Yeah. So the first phase, uh, the, the project is actually um, segmented in phases. In the first phase, there's a 2,000 megawatt uh, increment in, in terms of capacity. This includes both, um, if you like, new projects and uh, capacity improvements in existing projects, which we call brownfields and greenfields, mm. respectively. So this will happen over the next year and a half to conclude on the phase one. Um, so you can imagine the complexities of it, which will include things like almost 3,000 uh, transformers in the distribution sector, about 56 uh, different new uh, uh, substations, mm -hmm. about 42 different substations in, in that will, you know, will be increasing capacity in that area as well. So it's a very large, very complex program. And the good thing is that our implementing partners, mm -hmm. Siemens, have done this before. 
But government is determined. I want to assure Nigerians that government is absolutely determined uh, to make this work. But are you going to be relying on the infrastructure that's on ground now that's been described <laughs> to a very large extent as dilapidated? Or are you going to be phasing those off? So, Entirely. so yes, what? we are embarking on a modernization program. So first of all, we'll be upgrading the existing uh, infrastructure where there needs to be changes. We have already ordered some equipment. Uh, the Federal Executive Council in December uh, approved the purchases of mobile uh, substations and transformers, which will be uh, utilized initially until you know the other projects in the pipeline you know come to uh, fruition all right we're looking forward to that so desperately uninterrupted power supply in nigeria sooner than later thank you so much kenny anue as managing director chief executive officer of fgn power company <laughs>